Hello, it's me, Renny. It's time again to play Pokemon Rank Battles, and today we'll be joined by Eevee. Um, Ethan is resting right now, and we are still gonna feature Wolfing Geek's team for the last time, and tomorrow I will feature uh, the runner-up team of Victory Road tournament last weekend. Uh, that, that team is interesting because it's quite controversial because of the guillotine Kurtana. As we all know, guillotine has only like 30% accuracy, but it's an instant kill. Well, back in 2015, I remember with my speaking, I also kind of used similar move, but it's sheer gold, sheer gold, not guillotine. So a bit cool to test the Kurtana guillotine team for tomorrow. And we're up against Matt, our first opponent for today with the team of Dracozol, Tyranitar, uh, Dasclops, Incineroar, Metagross, and uh, Tapopini. As I mentioned in my previous video that um, Metagross and Tapopini is quite stable this time, this time in the meta game. So we'll see, you will see a lot of those. So, Make sure that your team can, you know, handle Metagross and Tapopin. And I'm not sure if Breakazolt is good this meta game because, as we all know, the Ice Force is so strong and there's so many Metagross and Tapopini around. So, um, wait, I'm press up time again. I kind of want Regidiki here to set up screen again. And Partnered with kind of want Moltres, Landers in the back, and Tapopi. Yeah, I think that's nice. I guess I just need to uh, deal with break break us all early. But as I mentioned, I don't think Break is all this good to be serious because the typing is nice, but the current meta is full of Tapopini and Ice Horse, and it's so bad against those. Okay, he'll probably set up Trick Room, I guess. I'm guessing. Okay, oh, definitely Trick Room, but. Uh, hmm. Then we're setting up Trick Room here. Wait, weakness policy on Incineroar. Is that right? Wait, I wish this is showdown so you can see the moves and the uh, item. Oh, I guess I will. Huh. I'll probably set up reflect and. We, um, set up my Nasty Plot. I don't know, probably switching in Landorus is better, to be honest. I feel like switching in Landorus is better. Yeah, I think... I don't know. Uh, this turn, he will probably... Uh, Parting shot my Moltres and switch in Tyranic Mark. Question is, uh, yeah. I will set up Reflect in Max Darkness this slot. I am pretty sure he will switch in Tyranic right here. I'm guessing really. Yeah. I don't know if I'm making. Oh no, he didn't do it. Well, well, he has party chat. I said a little party chat, right? I don't know if I'm over predicting. Well, this is just deck of one. So there's no turning back. Uh, you gotta make your best predictions. Because in best of three, you can always adjust game two or three. With your opponent's place. How about in best of one? You gotta give it your all. Okay. I'm guessing party chat? Yes, party chat. Well, I'm plus one. Um, 
How much damage can it do per avatar? I hope more than 50%? Yep, more than 50%. Um, I hope I can quick and all that. Oh god, it's so bulky. Uh, it resists, I know it resists dark, but... Fine. I should have just killed Dust Off, I'm guessing. Um, I set up Reflect, but I don't know if I can... Uh, set up Reflect, I will switch in Landry so it will... Mm -mm. We have the dust box. Minus one Tyranitar plus Great Dead. I think I I'm pretty sure I can survive a max Rampo. I'm pretty sure because on my other team I have Charm and Light too, and I always survive a max Rampo whenever I charm uh whenever I charm Tyranitar. Okay. Holly switch. <laughs> okay. 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 He is definitely stalling my Trickle. I mean, Dynamaster. But, but it's fine. Right now, I kind of want to kill Dustbox right now. Uh, because I'm pretty sure that um, Landorus can deal with our data. Can, can deal with Tyranitar data. I'll just go with um, Earthquake and Max Darkness Dust Box. Okay, he recruit a Ranatar on the maybe. Okay, in general. That's fine. Well, if I remember correctly, that Incineroar is holding weakness policy. Oh wow, that's that's very fortunate. Okay. Okay. Wait. Where did I see the weakness policy? I remember seeing weakness policy. I don't know. Maybe I'm hall hallucinating and party. Yeah, I am probably hallucinating. Oh yeah, I remember that I don't have dust locks on my end. He has dust locks. My Moltres is holding weakness policy. God, <laughs> God I'm a mess. Sorry. <laughs> what the hell am I talking? Like you, you are all probably so confused right now. What the fuck is he talking about? Weakness policy. Okay. Huh. He definitely reserve his uh, Dynamax for the last. Conserving your Dynamax is always nice. I'll just go with Rock Slide. Uh, he will probably max max Ice Blade. I will Hurricane. Incineroar because I don't want to activate Metal Girl's next policy. My goal here is to stall the Dynamax turn of this Metal Girl's and let my Land Belarus uh, strip uh, on the end game. That's the plan. Okay. Uh, Maybe the parking shot again? I don't know. Let me dynamax this meta rose now. And I'm guessing Max Hill Storm on my landers. Hmm. 
But remember, I don't have Grief Break anymore because Dust Gloves already used Grief Break to destroy them. I... Wow, Shiny Meta Gross looks so sick. Fake Hog, okay. Max Hailstorm, I'm guessing? Yeah. Oh uh, wow, that deals okay damage. Hmm. How many turns of Christian do I have left? Okay. Uh, the question here is do I want to switch? in uh, landers on top of King Slot predicting a max break. Or I'll just protect. And hmm, I guess since my endgame here is Landorus, I'm not gonna risk that um, play. I will just um just I will mask the blood and muddy water. I'm guessing he will match the Capopini stuff. I'm not sure if that's enough to KO though. But I don't know. Um, I think this Capopini is quite fast. I don't know the stats because I'm guilty I didn't check it as I mentioned before. But I hope it moves before Meta grows. Because this Capopini is fast, it will never kill that. I run it. Nice. Nice. Okay. My end game is looking good here. My end game is looking good. Okay, max steel type. Okay, that's well wow. One HP. But mm, that's funny. Hmm. Light play, uh Okay. Question is what will he do? Maybe maps. Uh he'll definitely fake out someone. He'll definitely fake out someone. Uh right now I need to protect this Moltres. I absolutely need to protect this Moltres. Because Moltres can one shot Metagross right now outside Dynamics. And I'm guessing he will fake out my Moltres. Yep. And Max Hailstorm on that side. Yep, Max Hailstorm. I hope it's enough to survive. I hope I can survive. Yep, I can survive even with heal damage and burn. Nice. Uh, that reflect really helped. I think without reflect, I'll definitely die with my tail storm after heal damage, even after protect. Okay, now I'm pretty sure I win this game. I'm pretty damn sure I win. Uh, they might reflect first with Meta Gross, I'm guessing. Uh, hold on. Well, I only protect first with Meta Gross, so I want to let the web. Oh, I'm faster than that. This voltage and. Maybe he'll protect Meta Ghost first hit here. Oh no, no protect. I think it's over. Uh, Moltres is so good actually, but right now there's so many uh, people adding Tyranitar to their team. 
and also will tone it. But Moltres is still really, really solid, especially if you set up one Nasty Flat or Activate for Weakness Policy. And the typing is actually really, really good. A dark and light. And right now, only Top of Fiend is like the most viable fairy, most used fairy as of the moment. Okay, we're in our first game against Matt. And let's find our next opponent. Man, I really, really like Moltres. Uh, I'm just not sure if I want to use Moltres, Moltres on the main team, but Moltres is super solid, super solid. And by the way, Patrick Abangin, if you're watching, can you contact me <laughs> for our PPL match? Let's schedule it. Um, I'm wearing this hat because my hair is so messy. Okay, I think one more win, I'll be Master Ball. Like, I don't know if that really matters because from last Monday, I'm only, you know, seven games. Sunday, I mean only seven games so far so I'm literally only doing two games a day our next opponent is potato chop man that sounds like a showdown username maybe it's like a really strong Pokemon player somewhere and the team is uh, Whimsicott, Metagross, Thunder, oh, Thunderous, I mean Thunderbird, uh, Galarian, Zapdos, Incineroar, oh I miss Solomons, and Tapu Koko. Um, hmm, what do I wanna do here? Um, honestly, Regalithi and Moltres again is okay. I can set up screens and set up Moltres. And in the back, Tapopini again is really good against his team and as well as Landry. Um, wow. Yesterday we highlight Stakataria so much, right? Like, I remember yesterday you have a, like a team against Chandelure. Uh, I only found out last night that that team is Sajun's team. Like, I watched Sajun's Stream last night, and I saw that Sajun is using that thing. So, and some of my colleagues said that uh, Sajun has been using that thing for quite a while now. They even have the face of that thing. So, I might feature that in my future videos. Team is really interesting with Mama Swan and Chandelier. Mama Swan, I'm always a big fan of Mama Swan. So, well designed. Pokemon. And how can you not love Ma Mama Swan? It's in the end. Okay. Um actually I don't mind setting up screen here. Well he he will obviously max weight. I kinda want to hard predict and switch in landers. I guess he'll go for max break. Um, okay, I'm gonna hard read and I'm gonna hard read. So let's see, this is that uh, kind of those games that high risk, high reward. So if it kills my Moltres with Max Hailstorm, it's over for me. So why am I doing this kind of stupid place? It's best of one, you know, we gotta make big risks sometimes. Wait, Cherry's Ball Metagross? Is that even legal? Cherry's Ball Shiny Metagross. Well, can you guys comment down below if that is even legal? Yikes, I don't know. Okay, come on. Oh, he is expecting me to set up screen. Okay. 
Did he mob tail so many more Chris? Okay. <laughs> Our hard predict paid off. Our hard predict paid off. Right now he will I don't know if he will mass sail storm. Honestly I'm not sure if I can survive a mass sail storm. It's not a stop. So I'm pretty sure it plus I can survive it. I'm pretty sure I can survive it. Um yeah, I'm pretty sure I can survive them. Map Sail Storm, Ice Point doesn't have a high base point. I mean, damage. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm too weak. I don't know. I don't survive it. Moonblast, Map Sail Storm? Will he do that? Oh god, can I survive a moon that's that's max AS Oh god. But they forgot that he doesn't have tailwind. <laughs> oh god. They did not set up tailwind. <laughs> they thought his meta goes is faster. <laughs> holy holy shit. Maybe and the back of his head, oh I have tailwind, I'm faster, I can move this and match your storm this small press. But it doesn't have tailwind. <laughs> and my Moltres outspread the smell of rose. <laughs> That's why you always always have to check this screen. Like always check that if you have tailwind on uh, the turns number of quick room turns left. Terrain numbers, how many terrain uh, turns left? Like always check that. Yeah, maybe definitely may opponent misplay there, but but by not checking if he has like tailwind or not. Man, that Grimsy Todd is dealing a lot of damage. And Braver is not enough nope, still not enough to KO. Wow. Moldress is serving. Moldress is doing his job for the past two games. See? One has to plot. Uh, weakness policy getting out people with it. Ball press is just killing everyone. Man, choice like Stabo King is he's like a truck. Uh, I don't think there's any way my opponent can win this game to be honest. There's no way. Did I see another terrorist ball? Or that's a timer ball? Man. Well, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really play a lot of, um, what do you call this, uh, in-game plays with Pokemon, so probably in the past generation, there are like events to get those shinies, so maybe I'm dragging this person too much by having uh, Pokemon, uh, shiny Pokemon in Terrace Ball, so yeah. Sorry, whoever you are. And I'm just gonna max air stream this with Salamence and that's me. And that's GG. Okay, uh, we managed to win another another game. So our, my record now is 6 7 1. Right, 7 1. Uh, with Wolfie and Cyberconsim. And tomorrow, watch out for the Carcana with Guillotine. I hope we have will be in the position to use that Guillotine. I've been, I kind of want to use it if it's gonna hit or not. Because this season, this BGC 2020, for the last BGC 2020, a lot of people are using like low accuracy modes, such as Hypnosis and Sync. Like, 
like, man, those people are so brave. And it actually hit me without even the help of, without even setting up gravity. Wow, we reached Master Ball with 1981 rank. That's quite low for a 7 1 record. But, guys, I hope maybe this EV is quite lucky. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe. That helps keep me motivated and help me help the channel. So, see you next time. Bye bye.